Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Biz. I'm Chef Biz. This week's episode is brought to you by Meat and Bone. Uh, they're giving us a lovely cut of a 45 plus day old dry aged porterhouse steak. As you can see here, meatandbone.com. Check them out. A lovely variety of different cuts of meat. They're a local butcher shop, one in Coral Springs, one in Coral Gables. They will deliver to your house within two hours if you're local, and they do ship nationwide. Go to their website, meandbone.com. Check out their merch. Links right here, right there. Check them out. They also have a dope merch game, dope trucker hat. They also got T-shirts. Now, I'm going to let them know, hey, we need bigger size. They're not thick boy friendly, but we need some good stuff, all right? So hit them up, meandbone.com, and check out for the rest of the video. Join us. Peace. So like I said, it's 45 plus day dry aged steak. Uh, that we're, I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna give it a little bit of seasoning, and we're gonna go take it outside and put it on the grill. All right. Yeah. So once again, so for our porterhouse steak here, what you see a porterhouse steak? This cut right here is your New York strip, and this cut right here will be your filet mignon. And when you get a dry aged steak, the first thing you notice when you open up the packaging, or if you get it fresh from the butcher shop, is that it has a funk to it, you know? Now, it's not off-putting. It smells a little bit like blue cheese, some gorgonzola. Um, and then we're going to season it up with my uh, my steak seasoning, um, a little bold steak seasoning you can find on my website soon enough. And then we're going to take it outside, put it on the grill, get it up to temp. Then we're going to wrap it in some parchment paper, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to cut into it with a piece of toasted bread. So if you have any questions... Leave it in the comments below, and I'll hit you guys up. Follow me. All right, so we're here at the grill. We're going to hit some of this uh, olive oil spray here. Make sure it's a stick here. Now, if you notice, I got one side on medium and the other side on very low. And we're going to start the steak off at the hot side. I'm just going to let it sit there so it gets nice and golden. And then we're going to finish it off on the lower side. And then we're going to wrap it up in parchment paper and let it sit.
Right. So, hey guys, we're back from Oxide, uh, where we just finished uh, grilling the, our porterhouse. We wrapped it up in some parchment paper. It's been sitting here for about five to ten minutes now. We're just gonna chop up this uh, grilled uh, Italian bread that we did on the grill right outside with some olive oil, pink Himalayan salt, little herbs, and we're just gonna chop it up. Can y'all hear that crunch? It would, right? All oh, this nice crunch. Thank you guys for joining us right now. Real El Chef, Wendy, what's going on? You guys are watching behind the scenes. Kudros, what's up? Watching a little bit behind the scenes of cooking with Big Kitchen. The YouTube video right now sponsored by Meat and Bone. So shout out to Meat and Bone as well. Local butcher shop up in Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Check them out. We got this steak coming up. It's like a meat Christmas. I'm gonna take that. Move that to the side. Now what we like to do to serve it is we're gonna cut off the bone as best as possible. All right, guys, so you saw me go through the whole meat and bone packaging of our 45 day plus dry aged porterhouse. We put it on the grill, we put it aside for five to 10 minutes. It came out nice and beautiful, made rare. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a bite of this steak with some of this bread, and I'm gonna go enjoy a beer. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace. Damn, that's good. Hey fam, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell on top so we can catch all our weekly updates. Peace.